Hello. In this example, I will explain how you prepare your data sets to run multiple regression with dummy variables. In this example, we would like to predict the cell units of pies given the price per pie and the pie type. Looking at the data sets, we can see that the pie type is categorical data, which we will need to treat as dummy variable. We have custard, savory, cream, and fruit. It means four type, uh, types of pie. If we have four types of pie, we will need three dummy variables to treat this column. Let's first see the model that we're going to create. So we're going to create y hat equal to b0 plus b1 times the price plus B2 cream, B3 custard, and B4 fruits. We label X1 as price, X2 as the cream variable, X3 as custard, and X4 as fruit. Since X2, X3, and X4 are dummy variables, here is the definition that we need to address. X2 will hold the number one if it's cream, if it will hold zero, it's not cream, it's one of the others. X3 will hold the one if it's custard and zero if others. X4 will hold the number one if it's fruits and zero if others. We can see that the base level is savory. So when all variables will hold zero, it means that this is a savory type of pie. The next step is to look at the data and create three columns for three dummy variables. Now we need to insert the zero one values based on the dummy variable. So one trick that you can do is you can highlight the labels and click filter in the data tab and then choose each time um, the type of the pie that you wanna set. So we'll start with custard and I'll choose, I'll click on the filter and I'll choose custard. And then I'm getting only the custard records. So I'll click one, zero, zero. And then obviously you can take and copy that to the rest of the rows. Now I will click cream, click OK. And cream setting is zero, one, zero. I'll copy that to the rest of the cream row. And next is fruits. So I'll click fruit. And in this case, it will be zero, zero, one. And I'll copy it to the rest of the lines. And the last one is savory. And this was the base level, so it gets all the zero. So I'll get the zeros and you copy them down. Once you're done, you can click on the filter on the tab of the data tab. It released the filter and then you get your data ready. You can see this yellow area, that's the yellow area that you will use to run um, regression. We have Y, we have X1, we have X2, three and four, which are the dummy variables. Go to data analysis regression, it's supposed to be empty here. Input the Y range, I will highlight the cells. Input X range, I will highlight all my X variables with the labels. I'll click labels, I'll click residual um, boxes, and I'll click OK. And then I will get my regression model, and then you can start your analysis. So I hope that helps you to um, help you to set your Excel file as a preparation to run multi uh, multiple variable regression with dummy variables.